Instead, now you're going to travel internationally because I'm a pled bitch. And the only girl that I could find that loved me was in Canada. Welcome back to Chinstrap Chaps. What's up, dudes? Hey, aren't we a fun bunch? Am you could I? call us a bunch of fun boys. You can call us a bunch of <coughs> cr- No, don't, don't call me <coughs> Sorry, I had to bleep that one out. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to bleep that out. <laughs> There's no reason to, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> to. How dare you call me a <laughs> <laughs> is that an actual term, or did like people? Did, did we just make that up? Like I don't know. I I couldn't tell you. Google it. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> Bleeping it every time we're saying it right now because I don't know if it's racist or not. Or that doesn't sound racist, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's scrum dinger. Scrum dinger. Yeah. What the heck is that shit? It's a, it's an app. Oh, interesting. Looks like it's a meetings. Yeah, it's an app. Who the fuck? <laughs> Who would name their app that? Beep. Can I push this? No. No, I can't. I always forget what to do at this point. Well, there's nothing that's uh, saying crumdinger is a word. Oh. Uh, well, I guess that's just something we made up then. Yeah, the, the closest thing is scrumdinger. <laughs> well, and if scrumdinger is an app, then I don't, we can't, we don't have to bleep that one. Yeah, no. But. You can, you can, if you want to make it like a bad word, then continue to bleep crumdinger. <laughs> If <laughs> if you find that it is not a bad word, then you leave Crumdinger alone. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. You fucked. <laughs> I don't know. There's something about that word, man. I just, I don't know. Like, it just... Wait, how, how? How did it come back? It's magic, Billy. It's the magic of the Crumdinger. Magic. It's the magic of the Crumdinger. How the fuck do I get it up there? Do you believe in magic with the young girl's farts? Nope. Yeah, you gotta swing back and forth. Swing back and you forth. To, yeah, <laughs> yeah, sorry. You fuck! <laughs> yeah, you gotta swing it back and forth like a pendulum, and then when it's on the upswing, you throw it up. You get it? Is that how I? Yes, that's how, how this you do. puzzle works. That's how remember. this puzzle works, Taylor. I'm telling you. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, that's not how this puzzle works. You fucked. <laughs> um, because I gotta get another thing in there somehow. I think. Can you make one of the statues yet? Hold on, maybe, hold on, maybe I'm just dumb. I don't think I need to do that. Maybe I can take a pot in there. Can I take a pot in there? Probably not. Nope. Bullshit. I think I might just need to, like, call the guy down or something. I don't know. Hey! Yeah, I think that's all I need to do. Or not. Come here! Oh, I know what to do. I'm dumb. You push the block? No. I know what to do. <laughs> you do that. And then you can call him down. So... I'm just stupid, dude. I mean, I haven't played this game in a while, so I don't remember all the... I don't know how to tweet the deets, you know what I mean? T t tweet the neeps? Tweet the deets. Tweet. You, the can, you can tweet whatever you deets. want nowadays. Yeah, because Elon Musk you know, Elon, uh, Elon Musky is the, uh, the husky. You know what, Billy? We saw the show on Netflix the other day. 
don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. It's called. Oh. Is it cake? Oh. Have you seen that show? No, I haven't. But I've uh, heard of this cake show. It's really stupid. <laughs> We were just looking for something to watch while we eat dinner. So I like. I know it's originally Japanese. This looks dumb. <laughs> oh, then of, then of course, like the Japanese version is probably way better. They they basically just you know have people come up and yeah, they make they st- guess if it's cake or not. Yeah, pretty much by choosing which item, and then they uh, well. Yeah, but they have to Americanize it, so they add uh, Mikey, whatever his name is from. Uh, I think it's Mikey Day or something. From SNL to come in and say horrible jokes, and it's just stupid. <laughs> Sounds about right. Like it was dumb entertainment. Like it's fine, you know. But like it's just like that's all it is. Is dumb entertainment. <laughs> there's no substance to it. And, and the sad thing is, is that there's eight seasons of this shit. <laughs> it's like why? Why? Because it's funny to see the same thing of. Oh my god, it's is not cake. Is this cake or is this cake? I choose that one not being cake. All right, take a bite of it. Yeah. And then oh no, in this you the, make a funny face when you're right. In the you US make a funny version, face when you're wrong. In the US version, he cuts it with a knife. Oh. So if it doesn't cut, then it doesn't cut. Yeah. The, That's less interesting than them taking a bite out of a non Yeah, yeah. Item. The Japanese people actually have to take a bite out of what they chose. So they come up and they uh, they get real close up in the thing and they have the like the one that I've seen was um, oh god what was it it was like one of those Christmas balls like an ornament yeah ornament oh <laughs> and he chose the wrong one he chose the one that was actually a Christmas ornament so what so does he, he goes fucking break in his mouth <laughs> yeah and it explodes in his mouth and like glitter gets in in his mouth oh, and, yeah. and everyone's like yeah. Yeah, the Japanese people go crazy with that shit. They do. <laughs> they do. <laughs> they probably do it on purpose. <laughs> They're crazy people over there. <laughs> They're fucking crazy over there. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, and their, their city smell like shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's actually true, because Papa Franku said so. <laughs> I say so because I was there. I know, but I remember that was always this thing. He's yeah. like <laughs> several like accents, <laughs> shit, accents from around the world. <laughs> He's like, wow, this place really smells like shit. <laughs> There's an overwhelming smell of shit. <laughs> Welcome to the rice fields, motherfucker. <laughs> I liked him back when he was filthy, Frank. Hey, yes, hey, I broke into your car. Hey, yes, hey, I broke into your car. <laughs> he would do that for like four, four different cities, all have the same thing. <laughs> well, yeah, he. I mean, he probably couldn't keep that shit up, though. That's the no, thing. No, like he, especially not with today. No, he, like, well, that's what made Filthy Frank like so interesting was that he did that shit for so long and like got away with it, and like he's got like millions of views on YouTube for that stuff. Yeah, and it's like absolutely ridiculous shit. <laughs> well, yeah, now he does the the rap shit. Yeah, and I'm not. I ain't into crap. Yeah, I mean, I don't really care about it either. But like, whatever. Like, <laughs> welcome to the rice fields, Papa Frank. Papa Frank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The same, the same joke is, "Hey, I say I broke into your car. Yeah. <laughs> it just walked up to the rice fields." <laughs> yeah, what I would like. I like too is that he would have like, you know, all these different locations. Like he'd be like China. Why? <laughs> Welcome to the rice fields, and then like oh. Cambodia. Welcome, Welcome to the rice fields, fields. Mongolia. Rice. Yeah, then he then the rice fields. Yeah, then Welcome then. to the rice fields. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's, like well, yeah, it's, sure. some, it's, it's just rice fields. Oh my god, it's so funny. <sighs> wow. Fucking the world has changed, Taylor. I know the world sucks now. War. Wars I mean, maybe it's always sucked. I don't know. Wars changed. YouTube. YouTube has changed. Everything's changed. Obama, thanks. 
Thanks, <laughs> Obama. <laughs> I don't even try to kill him. I don't even need to do that. Yeah. You know, if it wasn't for Obama, he said he wanted to change, and we got it. And I hate it. Yeah. Personally, I hate the change. I Thanks, Obama. <laughs> I do feel though as if there is some kind of like counterculture happening against like the overly sensitive sensibilities of of the world. Oh, there is definitely. Which, you know, I don't know how I feel about it cuz like it is good to be more sensitive. Well, it's good to be aware of certain things, but I think there's certain other things that are just like people are getting butt hurt for no fucking reason over. Yeah, it, like, there's a problem of like when it comes to too much. Like, yeah, when it comes to like, you know, being accepting you don't need of, it to you don't need I know I don't need it. When it comes to being like accepting of like certain kinds of people, like yes, sure. Yeah. Like less bullying in the world, great. Whatever. But like other shit like minor you know, offenses or yeah. people are having problems with them. Yeah. Or people saying certain things. It's like, okay, kinda grow up about it. Yeah, right. Well, because it's like, I don't know, I think it, there's just, it builds this unrealistic expectation of, like, people are always going to be able to, like, solve or, like, answer to these problems that if, like, a very vocal minority of people are having problems with. Yeah. You know? I just think that that sets an un unrealistic expectation for the world. Like, there's always going to be, like, stuff that offends you. Like, you can't eradicate it all. <laughs> Yeah, and really, sometimes, like, it's not really worth, uh, even placating the people. I know. Because, why, why do I care that you're, you're upset about this? Grow up. Yeah. So learn to deal with it. <laughs> Slow down. Because, yeah, you know... <clears throat> It's just like, the world is a bad place. Now I get the feeling of, well, try why not try and make it better? Sure. But it's not going to be perfect or better or anything like that. And you need to be able to grow the skin to actually allow yourself to live in it. Yeah, right. So if you don't live in the world that you're actually living in, well, you're not going to have a good time. Yeah. You're going to be coddled and... No, gonna, I agree. No, I, I like. You're not gonna get where you need to be. Well, I don't, I don't. Part of it for me too is just like I don't have enough fucking like time in the day to like care that much about shit that doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> That's like what it mostly boils down to for me. Is like I like you know could get upset at the fact that the Little Mermaid remake has a black Little Mermaid in it, but like at the end of the day I'm like, I don't care, it's I'm not even gonna watch the movie anyway. <laughs> yeah. I was not gonna watch it either yeah, way. Like so it doesn't it doesn't matter. <laughs> but also I've reached a point where it's just like, you know what? Every Disney character ever has been white. Like let them fucking have one black character. <laughs> they have. I know they've had some. The but Prince like, and you know, uh, the Frog. But that's like the only one. Yeah well get over it. <laughs> <laughs> the, make it for the audience that actually is watching it is my my thing like that's the business sense that you Ooh. should be having anyway Ooh. I don't know that many uh, the, the only people I've ever seen that like super nerd out about uh, fucking Disney or anything like that are white people that's true it's like trying to put you know, get more black people into Star Wars. Most of them are not into it. Mm -hmm. I'm not into it anymore. Because <laughs> they ruined it. Yeah. Last three. Though I hear Solo is actually pretty good. Um, I've heard uh. Mandalorian's uh. good. Uh. You got anything to say about that? About those shows? Yeah, I've never, never, seen, never seen them. I don't yeah, give a either. fuck. Me I either. don't care. We'll never get Disney Plus. I am like I, it, Disney Plus is like uh, Nintendo for me. I don't care. You want to know what the best thing on Disney Plus is? It's always it's always sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> Wait, they own Disney. They they're on Disney Plus. Yeah. Ugh. 
I don't know why, but they are. It's so that's seven. why I can't watch on Netflix past like season ten. Oh, do you have it in the states? I don't yeah. even think we have, we don't have it here. Pretty sure we do. Maybe it's gone now because it's been a hot minute. No, I I uh, <laughs> um yeah I I could not give two shits about any Star Wars related content anymore. I don't fucking care. Yeah. <laughs> I've honestly, I think I've reached a point, like when I was younger, I really liked, you know, all the Star Wars shit, but I think I've reached a point now as a bitter adult that I personally think that the Star Wars IP and franchise was, did not have enough material to become a franchise. (laughs) It never should have been made into like the thing that it is now, as far as like depth. I would have been fine with the six movies. Yeah. Like, like the prequels aren't great, but like, okay, fine. Like, yeah. it forms a it forms an arc over the course of the two trilogies, right? Personally, I just like the prequels because every single line is like a meme. Yeah, they're entertaining. I like you know what people give them like shit, but I honestly do think that like episode th- episode three is not bad. It's okay. Yeah, episode two is boring. Episode two is episode boring. one is too childish. Episode one is I find all <clears throat> episode one also pretty boring. But you know, um, whatever. Now that is pod racing. Why am I going here now? I don't want to be here now. I Too guess bad. Going, guess we're going here now. <laughs> like I remember, like spoiling episode nine entirely for myself before going to the theaters to see it. And we only went to see it because we had a gift card. I wouldn't have paid money for that movie <laughs> if we. I did just to you know finish. Right, just to finish it, right? But like, and I'm like. <sighs> But, like, I, remember I spoiled the entire movie before I watched it, and I was still disappointed with it at the end. <laughs> like, that movie is a fucking disaster. <laughs> In, like, every sense of the word. Spoilers. Ben Solo is Ray's father. <clears throat> and then they kiss. And say, ooh, step-papa. And then Ben's like, I'm your real papa. And then they fuck right in front of Palpatine. Oh, yeah, Palpatine's back. Somehow. He's not dead. He's returned. So that's the spoilers. That 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 to me was like the (laughs) biggest, like, raised eyebrow moment is like when the, you, when like all the, like, the pre release trailer footage and all that stuff included Palpatine. And I'm like, throughout the first two sequel movies, episodes seven and eight, Palpatine was not even mentioned once. And then all of a sudden in the last one, he just appears. Hey, what's up? Yeah, like, what? I'm um, Palpatine. It makes we, didn't, we, we wanted to give your, your now father a, a, a re, you know, retribution, or not retribution, um, what's it called? Um, revenge. No, no, not revenge. Uh, I, I reversal just, where like he gets bad he gets he becomes, yeah no 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 retcon um it starts with an R it's where you're able to like uh yeah he redeem he gets redeemed oh okay we wanted a storyline where your father gets redeemed and I'm now the big baddie instead of him being the big baddie this whole time yeah it's just it just didn't. It didn't make any sense. It's like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Like that, that they had to bring in JJ to try and save the, the whole thing, and it's like, and he fucked, it. and he still fucked it. Like it was bad. You kind of un, un, all right, all right. God, why? <laughs> He's like, all right. Oh God, why? <laughs> why is it you? Yeah. <laughs> Reminds me of the office. Just fucking no. No! Yeah. No! <laughs> I always hated this puzzle. Mm, it's because it's in triangles. Yeah. It's not hard. It's just. It's just extra steps. You gotta, like, if you grab it from the right place, it'll come the right way. Sometimes it won't flip you do the way you want it to do. Yeah. But yeah, after uh, after the sequels, I pretty much um, disowned it. It was kind of like you know, uh, Lost Planet three. Yeah, 
Like after we had played it, I'm like, all right, I'm done with this fucking series. Yeah. And then look at me now. I own all the games again because secretly I love them. <laughs> I can't stop. I, I would stop. I would like to play trapped in the center. I would like to play um, Lost Planet three on here though. Eventually, I have it on on PC. So that's the one where you're uh, you're a mech pilot, right? Yeah, we didn't really play that one a whole lot. I don't think you've ever really seen a lot of it, have you? I've seen like an hour of it. Yeah, like it's not uh, it's not a great game, but it's I okay. Could tell from it's, that o- hour. it's it's okay. It's very okay. It, it it but it's definitely very different from the first two. Like it's not even remotely close to the other ones. Is there any acrid? Uh yeah. Yeah, there's acrid in it. But this is like the idea is that like, it's it's like the prequel before they landed on the planet in the first game, you know? Oh, okay. So it's it's like the world is more raw and like feral and, and, and yeah. And like it, it's more of like a matter of um air. Um you know, it's like the wild frontier type thing where they're really trying to, like, you know, um, build an established place on this new planet sort of thing. Because, <laughs> like, at least in the old one, or, like, the first game, like, there were settlements and there were towns and cities and stuff like that built. And then, obviously, number two was kind of, like, after, like, you know, all the ice had melted and shit and you find all these, like, the desert and all that. But, like, number three is, like, before all that shit even happened. So it's like they land on this ice planet, and it's like, well, that's what it is. You know, like, just kind of, like, you know, trying to make sense of all that nonsense. Yeah. So, it's fine. It's fine. It's a game. It's a game. And it was at least a different direction to take the series versus being, like, this really arcadey sort of Which, thing. it's the only thing that I really dislike about, too, is the arcadiness of it. That's what I embraced after a while, though. Yeah. Because, like, that's what it does well. (laughs) It's, like, the arcadey, wild craziness of it. Which it does, yeah. I just don't like that kind of style of game. But, you know, that's the best that it had. Yeah. That's the best that it had, for sure. (sighs) You got the Master Sword. It's right in here. Oh, my God. It's a fucking brain. Ping. Oh my god. Yeah, oh my god. I cuss his own just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just throw away right my there. old sword. <laughs> Sweet, I could double my output of my damage. I can do it all that I can. <laughs> yeah. And then some guy comes up with a fucking big ass sword, and you go to block the tiny sword, and it just. <laughs> buries it right through him and Link's just like you see the metal fall and then just <laughs> yeah. he just bisects at the head <laughs> <laughs> oh that's weird why isn't anyone moving when they see that like that's clearly moving oh Oh. Ow, well, you can't both be fighting me at the same time. That's not fucking fair. Yeah, this is stupid. Look at this dude who's just sniffing the ground, and then I just come up and just stab him stab in, the in the ass. Oh, my face! Fuck! Gets the Master Sword, immediately grabs a, a fucking um, spear instead. He uses that to murder. Well, because I like, I like throwing it at their face. It's true, it's fine. All right, well, I got three fucking dark nuts over here. I can't do anything about that. Yeah, it's like throwing it at their face. That's what I like doing the most. <laughs> then they go flying. I like it when the guy has the weapon, and then you, you you take it from him, and then you beat him to death with his own weapon. That's how I do it. <clears throat> all right, guys. One at a time here. Nope. All three at the same time. You got this, Taylor. I believe in you. Urgh. Gotta hold it a little bit longer than that. Gotta cook it. Yeah. Oh. Christ. Oh. oh thanks, man. <laughs> oh. All right, Taylor. I believe you got this. Once you get the other guys, I want you to take all the dark nuts on at the same time That's and fun. not not get hit. Okay. That's uh, that's your job now. <laughs> oh, 
there's a dude behind me. Oh my god. Oh my god. You got this, Taylor. No more, no, no getting hits. Okay, well, except for that, because that guy's there and it's cheating on their part. Oh, you grabbed a spear. Alright. <laughs> oh no, baby. <laughs> I want that heart. Yep, get that heart. Oh, I oh, missed, it. missed it. Give it to me. Give it to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Use them against each other. Come on, dude. Give me the counter. There we go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh! Okay, maybe not the no hit challenge, but at least, you know. Oh! Fucking ass! <laughs> what is even happening? You a dick. Ugh. Oh! I think they, they, those guys killed their friends on accident. Yes, they did. Like, I didn't even kill them. <laughs> Just successfully won against all of them at the same time, except for the one down there because he was too chicken shit. I think I have to kill everybody here, but I don't remember. I believe you do. I believe I do. My belief is that you do. Yo, what up, sucker? Yo, what up, I'm gonna slowly bash your head in. Oh no! See, I like this part about like some of these enemies, like. I don't feel like Breath of the Wild really had any enemies like this. Maybe they do, and I just don't remember. I just think Breath of the Wild is very overrated, that's all. Like, it's a good game. But I think that too, and I haven't played it. But 10 out of 10 worthy, it is not. But what, Elden screams better than that. Uh, in some yeah, aspects. In some aspects. I mean, Breath of the Wild did the exploration really well. That's like the only thing that I think that was really good about that game. Um, I think the combat is really lackluster and undercooked for my liking. Do you like the puzzles? The puzzles are fine. Like, the puzzles are good. The puzzles are like really Like, some of the... Because, like, they were able to make some of them more physics-based, which is kind of cool. But, like, um... Yeah, if we're talking, like, combat and stuff, I just don't think that it was really ever... It's not that developed. It's, like, literally the same as this. Yeah. But, like, it's not any, like, different or... Like more, there's not more more to it. It's you dodge, and you hit, dodge. and that, and then your weapon breaks, and then you got to get a new weapon. I hate, I hate the weapon break system. I do too, but I can understand what they're doing with it. But like the, I, I think just like what the issue is for me is that like none of the weapons really handle any differently from any other one. Like sure, like you know, in, in certain cases, I guess like your your effective range can be altered depending upon whether you have a. A spear versus a sword, or something like that. But like the move sets are effectively identical. There's like nothing different about them, and there's no like different moves. You just move just and hit. slash. Yeah, I know you can do like certain things, like uh, pause the time. Yeah, get the. Uh, Get a rock like really going and then launch it into them. And yeah, do, there's, like, that kind of there's stuff. stuff like that, but like it's not, it's again, it's a kind of a matter of like dominant strategy. Like it's not something that you're going to do all that much when you could just go up and like hit something. Yeah, when you can just do the good old fashioned slap them in the booty. Yeah. I also find in that game too, and maybe it's just my experience with it, but like um, they started to like bring in the RPG elements, like you know. Um, armor values and attack values and stuff. Yeah. So you can actually, you can get different armor sets that give you different effects. Like, you know, one might be more um, defensive than another one. But I feel like there's still... One more over there. Over here? Yeah, it was... Uh, on the top or the bottom? Down the bottom when you went. So yeah, go, keep going down. No, the other way. I was being... Oh, there he is. There he is. Um... But what I what I what I found anyway in like you know in Breath of the Wild is that like even if you have like a good armor set, there are certain enemies that are still taking like fucking twelve hearts away from you with one hit, <laughs> and it's like, what's the fucking point, you know? If like if all that's gonna happen is like I'm gonna get two shot and then I'm dead. Yeah. Because what they want you to do is they want you to waste your time with all of like the crafting in the game in order to like make food that'll increase your defense and shit but it's like I don't want to waste my time doing that 
I just it's want, not fun to do. It's I just a, want to kill. Like I just want to like run around in the game, explore, fight shit, and that's it. Like I don't want to have to do this dumb crafting. Yeah. And I don't want to waste my time with all these randomly generated items that all have different, like effectively the same effect, that are also different and blah blah blah. Yeah. And like I don't want to do that. And I hate how like you know, and in, in much like some of those other games of that like kind of style, they um, you can like pause the game to heal yourself, and it's like it just fucking ruins the flow of the game. Like it's just not. I don't know. Didn't the Master Sword actually have durability too? Yeah, but it would recharge over time. But it's just like, you know, I don't know. Kind of the same deal. It's just like, I don't know. They arbitrarily have all this waiting and other bullshit going on in the game. It's like, I don't know. Like, I get what they're going for, but it's still, like, not not all the way there for me. I still haven't beaten it. Like, I really don't fucking care all that much. Didn't someone beat it in, like, two hours or something? I don't know. Maybe. There's probably some speed run. Like, they just beelined it for the castle. Yeah. And then went and fought Calamity Man. And with well, that's what I mean, though. Found. I like, I like the, the openness of the game, because you can do that sort of stuff, which I think is fun. But, like, I don't know. It's just, like, the, the, the mechanics therein, like, you know, for certain elements, like, the combat just don't really work that well, in my yeah. opinion. It is not a 10 out of 10 game. It doesn't deserve it. I like Jim Sterling's. He gave it a seven. And I would agree with Jim Sterling on that one. Everyone fucking screamed at him about it. I would say it's a very Whoa. average game at best. Like you know, there are certain elements that are very good, and then there's other are like most of it is just kind of okay. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, people basically tried to cancel him or something because he gave it a seven out of ten. Oh, well, that's when the everyone fun. was giving him a ten out of ten. Well, that's the fan base for you. Saying <laughs> that he only did it. Because he knew it was a 10 out of 10 game, nope. and that... Um, nope. It's not a 10 out of 10 game. <laughs> he, he just wanted to bring the, the thing down. No. You know, it's like, if he wanted to bring the thing down, he would have given it a zero. He was just being honest. Yeah. It's a, se- it's a fucking average game at best, I would say, <clears> too. <throat> but watch, we're going to get canceled now. Yeah. Also, I wanted to say... Um, I was going to bring it up, I think, in our Star Fox playthrough. I don't know if Alex is going to watch this one. But Alex, if you get us to 100 subs, we will play any game that you want to completion. Yeah, you just got to start making accounts. Yeah, get get us 100 subs and we'll play any game you want. Where, where, what are we at now? Like 66. Nice. As of the filming of this, we are we, executing order sixty six. We need three more at the very least. Three more? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even getting us three subs would be tough. I think. <laughs> <laughs> we'll play any game you want. We'll play. Uh, uh fucking. Uh, what's, Final, your, what's your favorite Final, game? Final Fantasy Seven. Fine. She's got hundreds of hours in that game. Oh, yeah. Mainly because she fell asleep. Oh. <laughs> she left the PlayStation on? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Next time I'm just going to have to play Final Fantasy VII. I come into her room and then it would just be sitting on there. And she has like a hundred hours on it and she's like... <sighs> Must not have been a very fun game then, I guess. Yeah.